Okay, we're just getting started on the left knee here. We've already got the bone marrow that we needed to make that bone marrow concentrate injection. And now we're just taking our first look in the medial compartment here. This is the compartment where you have, at least by x-ray, have the worst arthritic changes. You can see there's some areas of full thickness loss here on the medial edge of the tibial plateau. The cartilage is white, so when you start to see that yellowish appearance, that's subchondral bone. The meniscus above it looks okay, but then also when we rotate the camera and start to look up at the femur, we can see that you've lost cartilage here as well. Okay, you can see how this is kind of rough and irregular looking. And so we're gonna look towards the posterior horn of this medial meniscus in just a minute. Okay, so here's the posterior horn. Here's a tear in the meniscus here. And we're just gonna trim this back a little bit. I think the worst tear is gonna be on the lateral side. Okay, and now we'll put our shaver back in and use the suction on it to evacuate any loose pieces and also to clean up what we just did. Okay, so now we're gonna look in the central part of the knee. We've gotta remove the ligamentum a little bit so we can see a little bit better. And we didn't really suspect any anterior cruciate ligament problems. So we won't spend a whole lot of time here. That ligamentum is vascular, so it bleeds a little bit. That'll stop in a minute. I'll show you some more in just a little bit. Okay, so now we're looking in the lateral compartment. I'm gonna clear up the picture. There we go. And so I've got a pair of scissors basically in here. You can see how badly torn this lateral meniscus is. And this is why even though you had worse arthritis on the medial side, you were really getting some lateral symptoms as well. So we're gonna start here and just trim this back. Okay, and next we'll take our shaver. And again, this has suction on it, so it works pretty quickly to smooth things up and clear out the compartment. Starts to look better almost right away. Okay, and that's really all I need to do. We're not trying to areas of the meniscus that were really probably getting caught in the joint. 
or in this compartment. So as you look up at the femoral condyle, you can see that this is rough. You can see some of these loose areas that flake off just with touching them. And this is an ongoing process that can happen in the knee, and that's why the knee was so swollen when we first got started. You had a lot of fluid in the knee. Here's another area where you've lost a lot of cartilage on the lateral femoral condyle. And then as we look down, hold the shaver for a minute. Okay, got it. As we look down at the tibial plateau, this is getting pretty thin also. But at least I think that's a better appearance than where we started in terms of the potential to cause symptoms. Okay, so we're going to finish up here. I'm going to look in the patellofemoral joint next. And then we'll get to work on the intraosseous portion of the procedure. I just want to show how this cartilage can be an issue also. And can certainly cause mechanical symptoms sometimes. Okay, and just a quick little pass with the shaver with some takes care of any mechanically loose pieces. Okay, so this is the patellofemoral joint. Above the shaver is the patella, and you can see it's got some wear and tear changes for sure. And then the trochlea, which is the groove that the patella glides in, has definitely lost some cartilage as we back up and get a better picture at this. Okay, here's some areas where the cartilage is a little bit thin. Okay, I don't see anything else that's very unstable though. So I'm going to go off on the video and we'll show you some more when we get to work on um, doing the intraosseous part of the procedure. Okay, so we've got our 18 gauge spinal in position. We're going to slowly start to inject. And I, I'm looking right here because a lot of times we can see this start to change colors once we get to about 8 to 10 cc's. We're at about five cc's right now. I can't really, I could imagine it in my mind, but I don't really see anything truly objective yet. And we may not. Okay, so that's all 10 cc's. And we talked about maybe following up with a PRP injection in the office for the joint, but, but that's all of the BMC intraosseous. And um, that looks good. So we know that we got it in, in the bone, not in the joint. You have ultrasound confirmation. I'm going to pull the needle out now. The nice way, or the nice thing about this is that we don't really have to uh, change your weight bearing status. So. We're going to go ahead and finish up here and get you back to the recovery room shortly, okay? Good luck to you now. Bye-bye.